Hi, welcome to the channel. I am Charlie. Today I am going to deal with Ford Transit Courier 2021 model van, basically smaller van, non start problem. So I am going to show you how am I going to diagnostic and how am I going to skip step by step and find out quickly what's going and what's happened. Also, if you need to join to our WhatsApp group, you can text join in 0044755102102 then I will add to our WhatsApp group. Also, please make sure don't going to promote your item. If you have any inquiry about the vehicle repairs, vehicle problem, blah, 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 you can ask there. So, first of all, I'm going to jump to the car and check the how is the ignition work. But before that, I'm going to the engine bay and the make sure I can open the bonnet from here and make sure vehicle has a enough coolant and enough engine oil because car need a proper engine oil to start the car even I'm not still I didn't touch anything inside but before I check anything I want to make sure this vehicle has a enough coolant and enough engine oil I can see here basically it's in correct level of the coolant now we'll see what happened to the engine oil because this is three cylinder engine with timing belt we done many past not good design but what to do all latest cars come with most time three cylinder right I can see here new engine oil and it's very close to the top level so I am happy for the oil level also well it's not any smell recently they changed the engine oil right I am happy for the engine oil and oil level basically if your car not starting it could be battery could be some sensors could be starter motor could be a lot of thing never know could be cam belt timing out blah 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 however when you check engine bay if it okay next step we go to the car and try to crank the engine or try to start the engine if you hear crrr, starting then our mind going to the other way I can skip half a way point I don't want to check the any sensors I don't want to check cam belt I don't want to worry other anything if it if I hear cranking noise if I not hear cranking noise little bit going to the divide but however first step no need to panic no need to think vehicle has a cancer could be a small tummy ache we'll see right now make sure it's neutral and I'm going to start the car right nothing no any noise right right now my mind going to the two things it could be very weak battery sometime if it's battery low then when you're going to crank it's like a taka 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 noise we can hear but however this scenario i can't hear any noise two things could be battery could be starter motor or oh, another one could be when I do this way, it's need to go to the signal to the starter motor, could be starter motor not getting signal. I don't know at the moment. Three things in my mind, battery, starter motor or signal from here to starter motor. We'll see. First of all, before check the battery, I'm get ready for my tools and I'm going to jack up this side because it's easy way to read to the starter from underneath this side. When you jack up that side, engine side, it's a bit hard to read. But when I jack up this side, I have enough space to the 
speed to the starter. Right, first of all, I'm going to jack up the car, get my tool ready. I need a multimeter and I need my probe. Get ready tool and come back to you. I already jack up the car and leave axle stand underneath for the additional safety and also I remove this under tray because it's on my way. I can't go to the starter motor because of that I already remove. Now next step, I need a, another hand and I'm going to check the battery condition at the moment and after that I'm going to check how is the condition while the crank the car or while it start the car. Mechanical word crank but general word start. Anyway, right now I'm going to check how is the battery voltage and when we're going to crank is it drop down or not I'm going to check now. Right we'll see how about the battery voltage now. You can see it's 12.5. Can you crank please? Cranking nothing. Again? Yeah nothing. Yeah. Why? Okay switch off. While he crank I can't see any battery voltage drop because if battery voltage drop I can see battery not enough or sometime starter motor stick but however battery voltage not drop down is as should be then I am happy with the battery at the moment then I can bypass the battery. Now next step I am going to do key to the third position I want to make sure signal come through key barrel to the start a motor to start the car. I am going to check this point. Basically this is my probe. I am going to connect negative to negative here, positive to positive here and I am going to this tip pointed to the starter motor ignition connector underneath and make sure light red or green normally you can see now it's green now it's red I'm going to check now right right now you can see it's green right now I'm going to crank the car can you start the car yeah you can see it's red now switch off switch off still power there Take out the key from the ignition. Yeah. Lock the car. Now it needs to be green. Huh. Again open the car, right, start the car, yeah you can, I can see slightly color changing but however I feeling Even now you can see the whole starter red, this body red, this body red, everywhere red. I feeling this starter like a short circuit starter. When they switch off the car, this one need to be green, but hold the body now. You can see all earth, it's red. Yeah, I feeling this starter motor not doing the job. Once I remove the starter motor, I'll show you what's going on. Switch off the car. Yeah, while I was underneath, first time it's green, then the when it's crank, all get red. After that, the it won't get back to normal. Like a, it need to be green again, but however, it shouldn't green again. I feeling internal, this starter motor a little bit playing up. 
that is why the problem and the one more thing I can try to the give the power line from the bottom but it is no point the power line come from the ignition but however I feeling this starter motor not doing the good job. Next step I am going to order the new starter motor I will remove the old starter motor and I can show compare how we are going to do it. This is I am feeling this is not a oh, good place to the remove the starter motor once I remove I will show you how we are going to remove that one. And also before we do the job we have to disconnect the battery once you disconnect the battery some time might be when I reconnect the battery when you reconnect the battery inside vehicle might be asked radio code for restart the vehicle anyway too early to comment like a radio code now but however next step I am going to remove the starter disconnect the battery and waiting for the new part once I get the new part I will show you what is going and what happened there. See you soon. We already remove the starter motor. You have to remove one nut from here, and the this is the for the ignition barrel to here signal from the key to starter. This is the main line, and this one holding with one nut from here to the bell housing. Then the another nut going bell housing to starter motor basically if you sit here one nut come through this side and one nut going that way that one you can remove from underneath but this one basically we have to remove battery battery cover air box then after that we have a slightly access here you can see this the one we remove from this side and the other one underneath now we already remove but little bit work there need to remove battery battery tray air filter but we can do when you do it take your own time and you can do it at the moment i am waiting for the new starter once i get the new starter i will compare new one and old one and i'll show you what's going and what happened and how is the starter going to be work i'll give rough idea this is mainly for the Ford Courier van, but however, this particular system you can apply to any cars, basic same theory. Sometimes little bit here and they are slightly changing, but however, basically you can apply many cars to this process if a car has a like a the starter motor, like a not electrical car, basically general petrol or diesel or hybrid cars you can apply same thing for the old starters okay i'm waiting for the until new starter come once i get the new starter i'll come back to you welcome back to the channel today i'm going to talk with you how we're going to check the starter motor basically yesterday we removed this is the old starter motor we remove from the van then after that we order the new starter motor unfortunately we got again use starter motor see same one exactly the same then we got the use starter motor then i call them again after that i ordered another brand new starter motor again with came with the unpacking i'll put the mark here just for the my reference this is the one we took it off from the van now i am going to show you how we are going to check the starter motor this is basic checkings but sometimes this one not accurate but i'll check how we are going to check the basic way negative to negative positive to positive and this negative can be go to body right and positive line don't touch the body just connected to the this post right and after that this is another positive line this is another positive line it's need to touch this connector when you touch it's need to be spin 
you will see I am going to give the pressure from my foot to the hold the starter and just tiny touch. You yeah, see? Now it's work. Yeah, it's work because of the sometime under pressure, this starter won't work. And the, after that, I need to check the, the what do you call the, you remember early, it's all starter red. We'll see now. Again, this is my probe. Negative. Positive. Right, negative, positive. Right, now we'll see at the moment it's green, you can see. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give the line. Yeah. Yeah. It's work as should be. However, because of the sometime pressure, this one won't work. However, I'm going to leave it as it is. We'll see the this starter someone removed before. We'll have a look what happened to the this starter. This one, yeah, see, this one also someone removed before, but same problem, right? Anyway, I'm not going to check the brand new one, first, I'm going to disconnect everything, right? That's the way sometime theory always not a practical. This is the way we can check the start motor, but this starters both partially work but under load it's not working however doesn't matter now we know how to check the starter motor but it's a bit tricky like now it's work without pressure when the pressure came this one not spinning that's why the problem however sometime like this problem we take a wrong decision right okay this is the new starter motor brand new one yeah pin right two pin yeah yeah look like a correct one we'll see how many teeth inside I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven teeth. You'll see the old one. If it's eleven, if all good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Yeah, exactly. Right. Then after that, we are going to reinstall this new starter and come back to you. See you soon. Basically, we replaced the new starter. You know, Charlie, I don't know. What Charlie done? Uh, very bad. Yeah. Experienced mechanic mix up like that smaller point. Very bad. Because I feeling I'm to rush to identify the problem then I got the wrong answer even you can also face in like this problem because basically I am not make a good decision for this point I'll show you what happened right we change the starter now I am going to start the car see it couldn't start then after that i'll check with computer all nice and green i couldn't find any problem there right after that i use my 
common sense experience little bit then i'll check the old fuse box here i couldn't find anything right okay i went underneath and i'll check again one by one wiring then i went to underneath here straight i'll show you what i found basically i found this wire you can see this green earth wire in here here see this one you can see it's broken from the connector here from here this is the could be the problem yeah i done big huge mistake anyway i'm going to give a full refund for the customer yeah and i'm going to give it the new starter motor because i don't want to remove the starter motor i already fixed and we struggled to fix that one anyway right i already removed the wire this is the broken part is broke from here what i'm going to do i have another connectors here i'm going to install one and match the edge tight the edge cross the edge then install this one and i'm going to start the car yeah once i install i'll come back to you okay we reinstall the wire done the amendment now that's one okay right i'm going to start the car now and have a look what's going on ah oh it's starting yeah again one more time yeah it's starting right because we remove the gear cable selector we have to find out how it's going on but all fine all look good because see i done huge mistake anyway i make it straight now everything square no need to worry but i'll promise you i'll take a another round for another for transit tonight stay with me we'll see what happen on that truck basically we'll see how is going on i'm going to they are maybe after my work yeah see you soon as i mentioned i'm going to the second job for the starter motor hopefully i'm not going to do again same mistake anyway we'll see i already done the diagnostic and the assessment for the that starter we'll see what's going on i already bought the part from the local supplier this is the new starter motor from them but i already paid 168 something nearly 170 pounds so same time i order the online parts also well i spent for the 93 pound but the huge different like a 80 pound different for the online part and the this part but i read the reviews for the online person all good for me because basically i have a two parts because if online part not correct one i'm going to finish the job that's why i bought it this one however if it online part fit i'm going to fit the online part if it not i'm going to use it this part because i don't want to go up and down twice that's why especially i bought it if i don't want i can return this one if i not use it yeah anyway we'll see how it's going on i'm going to the job yeah come with me i'll show you what's going on there right came to the place i am going to park like this is the vehicle i'm going to work now first i'm going to start the car and show you what's going on there right i'm going to start the car first basically not a car it's a truck you can see it start and again switch off and start again you can see this is the problem right if if it cool first time it's starting when i going to start second time it's not start we'll see what happened to the third time start it's starting fourth time 
see nothing right that's the problem sometimes it's engaged sometimes it's not engaged you know what's the problem now however i'm going to remove the starter first before that i'm going to disconnect the battery and do the starter this vehicle battery located behind the driver seat you can see there is a two screws need to remove and remove this cover then after that we have to access to this cover then after that i'm going to disconnect positive line and going to remove the starter yeah we already disconnect the negative line line i put underneath some clothes it's not connecting and also once you remove the battery line like this car sometime when you're going to restart your radio might be asked the radio code however i need to concentrate the job first then after that whatever coming up i'll going to sort out later yeah you can see now this is the starter motor basically it's holding with two nut once i remove i'll show you right we already remove the starter basically this two nut not hard to remove it's like a altogether 15 20 minute job however because of this cover we couldn't lead to the bolts basically it's like a lock like this first we have to open this one and reach little bit less place this side but it can do then after that this is the online part they said moving you since 1979 basically 40 six seven years now if you have any idea about this part please comment below because i'm going to try this one then i can save like a 80 pound just parts no labor for the my jobs yeah we'll see is it identically yeah look like a same and we'll see the how many teeth here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve teeth for the this one and this one we'll see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yes exactly the same teeth yeah look like to me the both okay then i'm going to install new starter we already installed the new starter we'll see what's going on start off we'll see second time start yeah fourth time third time yeah all good at the moment new starter working nicely remember earlier when i start second time it's like that anyway two starter behavior two different way now you have a experience how is the starter working and what's going and what happened we mix up first second time we identify correct one right now you have a good idea how is the starter behavior two starters different ways different behaviors but end of the day all things going to the starter motor account yeah thanks for watching please subscribe and follow my channels and also if you have any idea with the that parts please comment below let us know what's going and what happened for the that parts yeah see you in the next video